hugely excited next uh, path in my progression as a coach, but probably more excited at the fact that I get to work with a, a brilliant bunch of players again with um, some really good coaches. So. Uh, very excited. So Matt's come in again this year, which I'm delighted about. He's been um, a really good help to me over the summer. Um, Mike Story and Fiona Hayes as well. So Mike was with us last year and it was great. And uh, Fiona's come in this year now, so she's obviously evolving her coaching pathway as well, which is brilliant. And she'll bring um, something different in terms of her ability to look at that contact and breakdown area. Um, so look, it's a really good coaching ticket. I think the most important thing is that you've got four people that really want to see women's rugby progress and evolve in the province. and. Um, yeah, look, I can't wait to work with them. I think that environment and the culture that Matt was growing was, was so good. I think it was just a really enjoyable group to be a part of and incredibly work hard, hard working and, you know, wanting to get better all the time. And if they can bring that kind of attitude and um, work ethic again this year, you know, it'll do us in good stead. It's uh, really important that we understand that the women's game is, you know, ever evolving. And um, and I think that it's, it's great for these players to be able to come in and, you know, be able to train in this environment. We walk in the door and even content's on the wall. I think, you know, that, that in itself is great. And, to be fair, I've had a huge amount of support from Colm and Keith in relation to trying to get this off the ground. And um, So yeah, look, it's all systems go for next week. The reason for the Interpros being in January was that it's like a natural progression from club to Interpro into, into international matches in terms of the competitiveness of the games. Um, we were very aware of like AIL starting very early, so we didn't want to put a huge amount of pressure on players. So we set two squad get-togethers in um, in August, and then uh, we'll get together um, on the down weeks of the AIL from now until Christmas. Um, three sessions together, but they're starting to get an SNC program now. They're getting into you know the high performance gym and in Cork, and we've got to make sure that we cater for all the players. It's um, a, a far-ranging squad in terms of Kerry, Dublin, Tip, and. Limerick and Cork, so we've got to make sure that we, we, we include everybody and I think if we can just start that pathway in terms of that SNC programme and um, you know they're getting good training with their clubs and stuff that once the AIL finishes then we can start to kind of really focus in on ourselves as a group.